Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. So first of all, I'd just like to give a big thank you to Giants for selecting a number of YouTubers to be preview partners where basically they get the game as early access so that they can stream it, make videos of it, and basically show it off prior to release. Now, with this, I'd also like to say that I am not being paid by Giants to produce this video, or any videos for that matter. It is purely so that I can show you the game as well as the uh, official streams and the other YouTubers what the game is like at this early access stage. So it is of course released on the 20th of November for those who are interested in getting it. If you just want to see what it's like then well stay tuned and we'll be able to see exactly what this game has got to offer. So we'll start by selecting an empty save game slot in career mode. This is of course the PC version and we do have 20 available slots to use. I'm going to start with slot 1 just because it makes sense, and we can then choose our difficulty. Now in previous versions it was easy, normal, or hard. Now we have new farmer, farm manager, or start from scratch. Start from scratch sounding very difficult. We're definitely going to give it a go at some point, but yes, I think probably, because this is just the introductory video and it's not going to continue on beyond this video, it is just to give you a taste, and me a taste, of what FS19 has got to offer. We're going to start with New Farmer, which is basically easy mode. You start off with land, you start off with equipment, and, well, it's just sort of given to you, and then you can continue building the farm up from there. Farm Manager, you'll start with some money, but no buildings, no fields, and no equipment. And, obviously, starting from scratch is what it says. It is starting from scratch. <laughs> it's tough. So, New Farmer. We're going to play on the Felsbrunn map first of all. We're then given this option to customise our character. Now I'm not going to spend too much time here but basically you can choose your character. There you go, male and female. And um, yeah, you can also choose a different hairstyle if you'd like to. Just quickly choose a different one here. You can put a hat on if you'd like to. We've got the farming simulator one, the, uh, the land workshop simulator one. Different brands. It's totally up to you what you'd like to wear. I'm just going to go for probably the uh, the standard farming simulator hat. So yes, I think it says FS on the cap there. We can then choose a jacket if we would like one, vest or nothing. Uh, we might as well go for a vest and an accessory, sunglasses or nothing. I think we'll go for nothing. And the shirt colour, we'll go for a sort of navy sort of blue here. That would do nicely. And yes, we're called Dagawin, which makes sense. So we'll begin. Welcome to Felsbrunn. So I must just say, this is not a review video, this is a first look video, so I won't be putting my opinions into here, this is basically to give you a taster of what FS19 has got to offer, to basically allow you to create your own opinions on what you think of the game from what you can see. Now I appreciate that you can't see everything because obviously I'm the person controlling everything, but it should give you a nice idea of what it's all about, and if you've got it on pre-order, or if you want to get it on the day, it is the 20th of November when it's released. So, yeah, it's, it's just going to give you a flavour, if you like. So, first of all, we're going to go over to this tractor. It's a Fent Favorite 511C. There's actually two of these. Um, I do have another one just over there, which we're going to go to in a minute. But first, I just need to do a little bit of drilling. Uh, we've got some oats, actually. We've got some oats that need to be put in. Uh, the worker has done most of this, but I just need to finish the job. So I'll just switch on the seed drill and we'll get this done. Now if you're not familiar with Farming Simulator, if you are new to the series completely, you can press F1 and it will open up all the information so you can see exactly how to control the machinery, how to operate it and uh, yeah, it's just the help page and it is very helpful. I must just say, if you are stuck, and actually I am going to get stuck definitely with a few different things, for example, the uh, the yield, how much yield you lose if you neglect your crops. There is a very good help page for this, so I need to I need to keep an eye on this myself. Um, but yeah, there's that like improving yield here. You can see that to obtain a 65% yield bonus, you must spread fertilizer twice, so 25% each time, and spread lime every three harvests. That's 15%. And also to avoid a 35% yield drop. You have to remove bad weeds, otherwise you lose 20%. And also plough after the corn, potatoes, sugar beet, or sugar cane. Um, otherwise you're going to lose another 15%. So there's tons of stuff to look at in here. Uh, obviously stuff I can't look at in this video because it's just going to take forever. Um, it's, it's a taster. That's all I can say. 
So yeah, I'm just going to transfer tractors. We're going to jump into the other Fent Favorite, which is a starting tractor. Everything you see here, you start off with in the uh, the easy mode. So we better get it done. And then my intention is to go and buy a field. Now, I actually do have field 14 lined up. It's actually a cotton field, and it's ready to harvest. So we're going to probably grab a John Deere tractor and also the case module cotton harvester and we will have to get some kind of trailer as well to move the cotton modules with so yes I'll sort that out in a minute or two I'll also show you how you buy the land and well we'll probably do some placeables as well also within the video my aim is to show you cutting down a tree because I would like to see for myself uh, what it's all like when you cut a tree down um, and to, well, to give you an idea of what it's like, basically. As I say, I'm going to try and make it as relaxing as possible, as informative as possible, but without giving you my opinions. So as I say, I have got a review coming in probably December. Um, I want to make sure I have enough gameplay hours before I so the good and bad points basically okay so this is the end of the cultivating I'll just move this tractor out of the way, we'll put it just over here there we go you can probably see the foliage bending just there here is another example of the foliage bending with the grass, so you can see I'm just driving through there it is bending the foliage Okay, so let's just finish off the field with the oats. And at some point, probably nearer the end of the video, I'm hoping to do a contract, which is, well, essentially a mission. We do have contracts in the game. So, yeah, we do have the transporting contracts as well as the field work. Um, so, yeah, it's adding another, another job type that you can do. If you're wondering how much money you start off with on the normal mode, which is Farm Manager, I don't know the exact figure, but I think it's something like 1.2 million. Which might sound like quite a bit of money, but if you think about it, you start off with no land, which is expensive, no machinery, which is also very expensive, and um, no buildings, actually, I don't think. Pretty sure you don't, but don't hold me to that, because it is my first time playing the game, and, um, well, I've, I've toured the map and stuff, I've had, I've had a go, but with only one hour's gameplay experience, it is quite hard to know everything. Um, so yeah. We'll discover these things. We'll, we'll try and uh, find out everything in the upcoming streams and Let's Plays. Okay, so just one more pass of the field with the drill, and that'll be the oats put in. I'm just trying to decide which John Deere tractor we should use. I'm thinking the the 8R came to mind, but that might be a little big. We'll see. We'll have a selection. I'm also looking to use a crawler tractor to do a bit of cultivating. Um, just to, uh, yeah, show off the crawler tractor tractors. Okay, so there we go. We've got the oats in the ground. That is our field done. Um, but that is, well, it's not done actually. The, the weeds are going to grow. So you do have to maintain that. Uh, to do that, you'd have to have a weeder. If you neglect it too much, you're going to have to get a sprayer and spray the herbicide to kill off those unwanted weeds, which will reduce your yield. So now on to the mini-map. Um, so if you want to buy land, we have to press X, and this will give you the land display. So as you can see, we own two pieces of land. What isn't straight away obvious from this map is we actually own the surrounding land around these fields. It looks like it's just 19 and 20. Don't be mistaken, we actually own all of this. Um, and that would be the same for any field which you buy. So field 11, 13, anything. Um, but just bear in mind the price. We do have 281,000 on this plot just here. We're going to go for 14, which is a 403,000 pound plot of land. Um, so we're going to buy that. There we go. You can see it's now going green, it's ours, we can go over there. But first, we must buy the appropriate machinery. 
So this of course means taking us into the store. Now we do have the cotton technology section and this is going to involve using the Case IH Module Express 635. Now of course if you want to lease it you can do, if I just double click on here, you can lease it or you can buy it outright. Now for the purpose of this video I'm going to lease it. Um, there's absolutely no reason for me to go buying it but you can view everything in a 360 degree mode. Not only this but for certain machines, you can see the live modifications which are being applied to each machine, each implement, whatever it may be. So yeah, this particular machine doesn't have anything. So this is what you get. What you see is what you get. We'll lease it. So you can use spacebar to make that a shortcut. And then we're going to go on to our John Deere tractor. So if I just choose the medium tractors just here, everything is categorized, which is um, certainly making it more straightforward. Yeah. We've got a 6M just here. There's probably a larger one too. Yeah, we've got a 6R as well. We'll go for a 6R. And if we were to customize this to, for example, have a different wheel. That's wide tires, that's twin wheels. You can see it is updating live. It's, it's not just showing us the same icon, um, which is gonna make it easier to buy the correct machine. So if we wanted a front loader as well, you can select that. And it's just, it's changing as we go. Wheel weights. Now for our current setup, I don't think we need anything um, that fancy. So we're just gonna keep it as it is. So if I just go and buy this, we can buy that there. And yeah, the cotton harvester is gonna create a bale, if you wanna call it a bale of, uh, of cotton. We're going to have to move that. So, into tools, we should be able to go into a category uh, which is going to be along the lines of cotton technology. There we go. Whew. First time I've seen it. Right. So, we do have um, we do have the module 4. This is capable of moving one bale. We also have the module X. This can carry two. Um, so, it's up to you. It, it's totally up to you which one to go for. I think for what we're doing today, the module 4 is uh, is fine so we're going to go and buy that now yes this tractor is very big for towing this but i'm just thinking for other jobs we're going to do today so you can uh, you can tab between your machines as you can see here we've just tabbed to the 6r john deere here's a quick look inside the cab and we're just going to hitch that onto there Right, little help icon did come up too. Right, so yeah, all the information that we need is on the heads-up display, which you see around the uh, the screen. Top right, we've got the weather, the time, the time rate, and also our money. Bottom right, we've got our speed, our cruise control setting, maintenance, fuel, all that sort of stuff, and also just to the left of that, we've also got our fill gauge. So whatever it may be, a drill a combine harvester, whatever, it's showing you how full it is. Right, so let's make our way up to fill 14. I actually don't know if I'm going the right way, so let's just let's just see here. Yes, we are. We're going the correct way. That's good. Got the AI traffic here. Cement mixer. Okay. Yeah, so I think it's the next field on the left. I do still currently have a dead zone on the steering wheel, which I will remove for the next video. Right, so that is our cotton field. Obviously, a previous farmer has done the work there. Put the crop in, it's grown, and it seems to be... Yeah, it's free of any um, unwanted weeds which would have been killed off with herbicide or with a weeder. Um, so we're now ready to move bales. Cotton bales, if you if you want to call it a cotton bale, I believe you can also call it a cotton module, um, which is why it's called the module four. So if I just tab between the machines once again, we can go to the Case IH module express. And yeah, actually I should probably I should probably just change the setting to keep the engines running. There we go. Yeah, so now when I get out it it shouldn't turn the engine off. Yep, there we go. 
So, yep, this is the first time I have done any cotton harvesting. I was just wondering if it did have a beacon, but I don't think this particular machine has beacon. I will show you the beacons in a minute or two on the John Deere. Right, so we're going to have to pull over because I can see some oncoming traffic and yeah, this is quite a wide machine. It's good passing points. There we go. I suppose that would be a consideration when planting a field. Uh, you want to make sure you can actually get the machinery to it. Uh, so, well, with a crop like cotton, big machinery. Um, if you can't get the machine down the road to the field, then yeah, you're going to have to reconsider if that is the correct field for the crop. Right. So, yeah, I, I have seen this on the official live streams and uh, I was I was impressed by it, what, what the uh, the team there were showing. So I'll have to uh, think about it, give you my honest opinions in the future. Because after all, this is for you to decide what you think of it, not for me to put ideas into your head. So, yeah, since we're not actually going to harvest the whole field, I'm just going to start here. So if we press X, it's going to unfold. There we go. And then it would be B, I assume. There we go. Okay, so we are harvesting cotton. It is important that we stay aligned with each row. Um, otherwise, we're going to be taking just sections of each row, which isn't ideal. There we go. It seems to be working all right. So, yeah, as I mentioned, uh, foliage bending. You can see the crop is bending as we get up to it, just before it feeds through the machine. Oh, I wasn't doing a great job there, it would appear. Yes, practice is required. But there'll be plenty of time for that. Now, as you can see, our fill gauge down the bottom corner there, it is filling up fairly slowly you do get a lot into each bale. So we're going to be able to do quite a, a chunk of this before we have to uh, empty it. I'll try and empty it as close to the, uh, the tractor as possible. It doesn't matter though, you can pick it up from anywhere. Basically how it works is the conveyor belt, similar to this conveyor belt just here, scoops the bale up off the ground, puts it onto the trailer, and you can then take it over to wherever you want to take it to, either storage or a sell point. You can also see the foliage bending just behind the machine as well. The machine is just brushing against it and it's springing back up again behind it. So since this is a job which is going to take quite a while to uh, achieve by the time we've got the bale, we are going to go and do some other things in the meantime. This means put it onto a worker, which you can of course do. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a lot of worker work in my let's plays since I want to do most of the work myself and also it would be uh, quite expensive to keep hiring workers. As explained it is so that we can get through a number of jobs in the one video. So there you go you can see the fill gauge if I just leave it to it hopefully it's going to be able to uh, well it might take the whole field actually to uh, get a full bale out of that but we'll see how we go. Our John Deere tractor is ready and waiting just here. So yeah, as explained, this is how it feeds it on. You reverse up to it, and you'll see in a minute or two anyway. So yeah, you can see field information, owned by us, it's cotton, ready to harvest. 50% uh, fertilized, so not 100%, and yeah, no weed infestation at all, which is obviously very beneficial. Okay, so yeah, moving on, we're gonna go back into the store, and what I'd like to do is just pick a chainsaw. We have four to choose from, we'll go for this one here, and yeah, it's a question which I have been asked quite a bit, and it is, what do the trees look like when you fell them? So here we are, this is a good test, you can see the harvest is just over there in the distance. I must just say, you can't cut down your neighbour's trees, you have to actually own the land which the trees are on if you want to cut them down. So, this is our tree, the chosen tree, sorry tree, um, yeah, so we can rotate the chainsaw like that, 
choose your cutting angle. Um, I'm just going to go for a, a straight cut. And there we have it. There is our tree. It's down. And then of course we can log it up. So do a cut there. And then, yep, we can uh, pick it up. So there you go. Felling a tree on Felsbrun. It's going well, but it's only 25% full at the moment. So we'll leave it to it. And I'm going to try and take a job, a contract. So the way a job is taken is in the contract page, obviously. You can see there's a bit of carpentry, transport items from carpentry to the castle hotel, or you can do some field work if you'd like to uh, using equipment. You can use your own equipment or you can lease equipment for a reduced reward. Uh, if you want to reduce your reward, then that's fine. Um, I, suppose, I suppose then you wouldn't have to worry about maintenance though. So there's good and bad points about using your own and using somebody else's. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's something to think about doing one of these transporting ones. You know what? I think I might do this one just here. The first one. It makes sense. So I'm going to accept that. You can see it's now started the, uh, the contract. Transport items from carpentry to Castle Hotel. I've just teleported over here just to show you exactly what it is we're moving first of all. Uh, these are the items, two pallets, uh, they need to be moved and you can see there's actually a red dot on the minimap. So this is a yellow dot, I'm actually sat on top of it. You'll see on the minimap there, a yellow dot appearing. And yeah, the red dot is where it needs to go to. So we're going to have to have a front loader tractor, I might actually use the John Deere, we'll fit a front loader to it, and we'll transport these. I think also some form of flatbed trailer is going to be handy here as well, as there are two. So I'll drop off our module uh, trailer just there. Here are the beacons by the way. Now there is an option, for PC at least, for the realistic beacon mode. Okay, so I have my tractor with a front loader bracket. I'm now going to buy the, the front loader itself, uh, which I would assume is in, yes, in the tool section. So we do have the John Deere. There we go, we'll buy that. And we'll also buy the pallet fork. There are, I think there's only one actually, but yeah, there's several different uh, types because we've got the skid steers, the wheel loaders, and obviously the standard front loader. Okay, so we'll get this all fitted on. There's the beacons. Looks like it does actually put a guard on the front of the tractor too. It protects it when doing front loader work. Uh, right, so yes, we must hurry up. The items are waiting. There is the pallet fork. And yeah, we need a trailer. So I'm, I'm thinking actually if we're going to bailing technology, there might be something there. There is obviously a low loader, but that might be a bit much. We could also use a pickup, I suppose. But yeah, if I just go into... Bailing technology, first of all. Let's see what we've got here. Right, so it is a, a trailer like that, which it would transport it, but probably not ideal for this job. Okay, so I found something better. We do have this Strautman trailer, and we've got different capacities, but we're only going to be using it for as, as a flatbed. So it's going to be configured to a bale loading wagon. So we'll buy this, and we'll take it over to our location. Where is it? Here it is. There we go. And yeah, there is one other machine, or probably two actually, which I want to use within the video. And it is the 8RT from uh, John Deere, and also the Challenger. Right, so from here, we can set, roughly, um, a tag if we'd like to, which I think I will do. Since I'm new to the map, I know that it is, it's close-ish to the grain elevator. So if I just tag that place, I can see, I should see, a beacon of light. There it is. I know it's in that direction. I'll keep the minimap open. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll make our way over there. Okay, we're almost there. 
over the bridge. And here we are. So it indicates in. And somewhere I need to drop off my trailer. So I think I think if I just put it it needs to be at a good angle, I suppose. Probably about there. Now I just need to back through here without crushing the item or the trailer. Right, turn the indicator off. Obviously we do have hazards as well. Just there. And yes, I'm going to increase the rate of time. Just so we can see what things look like in the, uh, in the dark. Okay, right, the first pallet. Oh, never been good with this. Okay, there we go. I probably should have given myself a bit more space for this, but there you go. Right, pallet number one is loaded. Now for number two. And then once we've done this, I'm going to check up on the, uh, the, the cotton harvester. See if it has finished the field. Right, and now we can reattach. Of course, we're, we're going to have to uh, strap them on, most likely. There's the train. Right, so I just pressed L to uh, strap those pallets in place. So now over to our destination, which is quite a long way from here. In fact, I can go, can go south. I'm facing the wrong way now, but yes, I'm going to, I'm going to turn around. Oh, it's going dark. So I'm just going to slow the time down now because obviously uh, we don't want it to go too dark. It is time to head to the destination. I think the uh, the harvester is just finished. So we'll go and check up on that in a minute, see how full it is. But yeah, we can turn right going this way. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit slow because obviously I'm, I'm new to the map. It takes me a bit of time to get used to it. And it might seem weird me sort of explaining that I'm about to turn right, but that's just the way it makes it easier for me. It's an intriguing place where we're going to, isn't it? Looks like you access it from this road here, which is pretty much our farm. Okay. So I'll see you over there. Although maybe I should keep it going, because otherwise... You're not going to be able to experience the map. Yeah, I'll put it back into third person view. There are different light modes as well. So we've got the rear work lights, front work lights, and then just the standard road lights as well. Right, we'll go left here. I don't know if you've uh, seen how the driver responds to when you steer, sort of sways to one side. Also there's cab suspension and seat suspension. This is the place. I need to turn the tag off too. Yeah, so I was really hoping to be able to show you horses today. Um, I'm going to, because otherwise it wouldn't be a complete sort of first look. But I'm going to have to uh, elapse time until we get to the next day. Keep climbing it, this mountain, and eventually we're going to get to the castle 
who has ordered whatever this item is. It's a long way. Twisty winding road. I think we're almost there. It has been a very long drive. But yes, this is the castle. Um, we should see a, a red dot on here. Oh, that was the horn. Uh, where do you want them? We've made it. So I think we have to take them off as well, which is understandable. Uh, I'll just unstrap that, pull forward. And yeah, hopefully it completes the mission when we have taken them both off. So into the trigger box, just here. There is number one. And number two. Beautifully delivered. And there we go. Transport mission completed. And there is the result. Uh, so we've got a thousand pounds. Thousand pounds for that. Um, so you can then move on to another job if you want to, obviously, or you can go back to doing your own work. It's just a very good way of making money in the background. So how is it doing? It's not quite full, so there is a, another section of the field it can move on to. Um, in the meantime, we'll come back down off the mountain, which is all the way over there, and hopefully by the time we get back here, it'll be daylight and this will be full. Right. Oh yeah, there is also crop destruction on your own fields, uh, but it can be turned off in options. It's a new day, and yes, I think a bale has been produced. So let's go and pick it up. This is interesting. This is a field which was partially harvested, and as you can see, the weeds have started to grow. Some birds just flying out of the, uh, the grass there. Some weeds in this field. So here we are just approaching the field and there is actually rain on the forecast. I would love to see what the rain is like. Um, it's something I've been desperate to see. So we'll increase the, uh, the speed of time again. I wouldn't usually want the rain, but on this occasion I do. So it's finished because, yeah, we've parked that in the way. But that's fine because we have the, the, the cotton bells over there, which we can move. So we'll reattach to this trailer and get it loaded up. Yeah, I believe they're actually really heavy, so that would explain why you can't just pick it up with a front loader. There's the crop destruction. Okay, so let's put this into the operating position. Should load it up. There we go. Right, so yeah, because we're playing at 120, <laughs> the weeds are growing rapidly. Um, but that's expected. We've loaded our bale up. So it might not look like uh, that's all of the field, but it, I think it really is cramming it in. That's the whole point of this, so you can get as much into one bale as possible. Um, right, so horses and then rain and Challenger and John Deere. Oh, and combining, yes. There's been so many things I've been wanting to do. We'll just go up to the top here, just for anybody who wants to see the combining. So that is chopped straw. You can also put it onto swath if you'd like to. I think you can see the mechanism move. There you go. And you can see the fill gauge. It's almost full. You can see the clouds. They're moving very quickly because of the rate of time. Um, 
Yeah, we'll do a little bit of uh, cultivating with the 8RT in a minute, but first of all, horses. So this is done from the placeable section. We need an animal pen. Um, got some chicken coops, cow pastures, horse paddock, large horse paddock. We just need the one. It's raining. I don't know if we have space for it. Um, well, yeah, theoretically we do. There you go. So you can put it wherever you want, within reason. Oh, wow. There's the rain for you. Um, yeah, so, horses. We need to get some horses. So here we are, with our pickup and horse box. So we're going to buy a horse. Uh, we'll go for Chestnut just here. And we'll press enter. Space, and there it is. It's in. Right, so, fold it up. Uh, we need to actually probably put a cover down, do we? Press N. There we go. I guess. Let's keep it dry. Or would you normally have that open with a cow with a with a horse in? I don't know. Anyway, we have the horse in, and we can now go over to our paddock and well, let it roam. We don't have any oats and we don't have any water at this stage. It is just purely to uh, try it out. But yeah, we'll hopefully be able to ride the horse in a minute or two. Yeah, so I have actually placed the paddock in the, the arable field. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just somewhere to put it for the time being. Okay, so now to find the trigger to unload it. I guess just here? Maybe over the other side, let's just see. It could be over here. Yep, there we go. Right. So, uh, oh, sorry, did I buy Simba? I'm not too sure now. <laughs> there we go. It's at the farm. Right. So, if we uh, okay, open the gate, there you go. Hello. Ride Simba. Bit of horse riding. Right, so you can trot and you can gallop. Sorry. Sorry, Simba. I'm not the best at riding a horse. It's my first day. Alright, there we go. I do apologise, Simba. Right, you can then canter, it says. There we go. And gallop. Sort of picks up the pace. And you can also jump. So there you go, a very brief summary of the horse riding. Right, Simba can go back in the paddock. There you go. Right. Goodbye, Simba. Let's go and get a John Deere and a cultivator. We'll very quickly just try out cultivating and then I think we're going to have to call it a day. I'm looking at this uh, RT series. There is the 8345 RT. I think we'll go for what it's currently on. Yep, we'll buy that. And also a suitable cultivator. Just go to the cultivator section, uh, which is most likely a minus plow. Yep. This horse looks suitable. Although I didn't look at the horsepower requirement, but even so. Um, there it is. Windscreen wiper. Yeah, so the Challenger is going to have to wait for another day. Uh, we have just run out of time, which is very unfortunate, but it was bound to happen. There is just so much stuff to show, 
Uh, it, it really isn't possible to do it in one video, but yeah, just trying to cram it in. Like I say, just a really, really quick demonstration of cultivating with this beast of a machine. We'll be working our way up through the machines in my proper Let's Play. But it may be some time until we get to one of these, because uh, yeah, it's, it's big and expensive. Another example of foliage bending there. And it's, it's cultivating the weeds in, but you might want to spray them off. Up to you. My bale over there. In the rain. So... I think when I get to the end of here, I'm going to say that is it for today. Well, that is it for this video. Um, all I've got to say is thank you so much to Giants once again for sending the early access copies out. Greatly appreciated by myself and no doubt by others as well. Um, also, thank you to my viewers for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you want to drop a like, feel free to. If you want to dislike, fair enough. Um, it's up to you. So, um, yeah, there we go. My first video of Farming Simulator 2019. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.